Hello, Avengers. It's me, Spenny McG. This week I've got something pretty cool. I got this somewhere in the middle of last summer. Check this out. <laughs> Man, how sweet is this? This has got to be one of the cleanest Sega Genesis boxes I've ever seen, especially for a Model One. Uh, we're gonna—I'll give you a close-up look at it, and we're gonna go ahead and unbox it and see what it's all like, especially nowadays in 2021. So. Let's jump right in and take a look. Now for starters, again, just look at this. This thing is minty. Now you can see here on the side, it's got the Sega Genesis, the ultimate computer game console. And here, 16 bits. Again, when everything was going bits, uh, this was Sega's way of pushing past the original NES console. This did come out before the Super Nintendo. And for them to say, hey, listen, what are you playing that? Well, that's only 8 bits, 16 mega power, blast processing. So here again, just the other side. Now the one thing you'll see on this is the bottom actually has a little tear out of it. That's the styrofoam there, but I'll live with it. I promise you I'll sleep tonight. I probably won't, but it won't be because of that. Check it out. Here's the back. Now what I thought was neat about this... This is a Canadian one here indicating distributed exclusively in Canada by Irwin Electronics. But the box, even back then, a lot of people, myself included, didn't know that everywhere else in the world, this was being marketed as the Mega Drive, but here in North America as the Genesis. Yet, very top here, the Mega Drive, the Sega Mega Drive is the ultimate computer game console fully utilizing for the first time the awesome power of the latest 16-bit technology. Mega Graphics. The Sega Mega Drive reproduces the graphic quality of specially designed arcade machines costing many times as much. So save yourself some, just give yourself a Sega Genesis. Or, as they keep referring, the Sega Mega Drive. The Mega Sound, the Sega Mega Drive, even has real stereo audio sound, making the greatest games even greater. Mega Games. With the Master System software converter, not included. You can use Sega's 8-bit games compatible with the Sega Master System as well as the ever-growing range of Sega 16-bit mega games. So that was cool having the power base converter of course. Nintendo didn't have anything like that. Uh, unfortunately I don't have one to show you but you just sank it on top here and then you can fit your Sega Master System cartridges in there. Let's go ahead and unbox this. First I'm just gonna give you a quick if you want to take a shot of that and let's go ahead here. So here's the top. I'm just going to open that tab. Now this was a used console. It wasn't like factory new, of course. But it was new to me. And the person that I got it from, you could tell, was taking pretty good care of it. Because it was packed away right back here in the original styrofoam. All right, have a look. So here, of course, is the instruction manual and even the mail away for Irwin Toys. Showing you how to connect the console. And again, if you have one of the video sets, you can set up a video component here. Basically, your AV cables, you only have a mono audio out of here. Now, if you want to get the stereo, of course, that comes out of the front, which was awesome. Of course, here's your 1602 power supply unit. So this was the older one. Of course, this will not work with the Model 2, the one with the little yellow tip there. This was specifically for this first edition here. The meat and potatoes itself. This is what you're here for. Check it out. Sega Genesis 16-bit high-definition graphics. This is the one that people on the internets, on all the chats, seem to say this is the one, if you can get yourself a first edition, this has this high definition graphics on it. This is the one that apparently has a superior sound. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I'm not the biggest audiophile. I don't have all the equipment to test it out or to give you those samples yet today. But just believe me when I say this model here is the one that everybody talks about. Here's one of the other models I have here that does not have the high definition across the top. And on the bottom here, you see it's just a 1601 but of 
course it's missing this. I had this in a Sega CD. But this guy here has the 1601-22. And like I said, this is the one with the high definition graphics. Apparently there's a special sound chip in here that after the first kind of releases of this, as consoles do, they start to put out revisions and pare things down as best they can in order to try and make things a little bit cheaper. So you can see here, it's like I said, in fantastic shape. Uh, you can see, you know, just a little bit of dust in here that I can easily clean out. Uh, of course, these ports always get a little bit dirty here. So I'm going to go over that with the cloth later on. But uh, yeah, like I said, very excited to have this edition in my collection here. This is going to be the one. I'm going to remove this port and I'm going to socket this into my Sega CD. See if I get any extra better audio out of that. Of course, here it comes with the three button controller. This was a staple, everybody remembers this guy. Now, of course, I've seen later variants where these are just all white, white letters, everything, but again, here's a red model. And like I said, feels great. You know, kind of ergonomic there. Good controller. I always did like the Super Nintendo gave you more options with the L and R on top and with the four buttons on face. But again, there was a six button of this that came out later on. It's just, unfortunately, it wasn't the initial stock. The RF switch, the auto RF switch. Again, this was pretty standard back in the day. Everybody was initially launching all their consoles with this because you were not pretty much gonna find a TV that didn't support this back then. So this was always the standard, even though there was better options, like I showed in the manual to even get the composite. And if your TV's really old, there was always the ways you could connect here um, you could go from your RF and connect here to the UHF, ultra high frequency, very high frequency, uh, <laughs> right on top of a television. I actually have TVs that still support this. And then of course there was this addition as well. If you wanted to, you could socket this, you can connect it to there. You could then stick it directly into the into the radio frequency output that way as well by connecting this and going so again if you could go straight to the television with this which is what we did as kids this is the way to do it now one thing i wanted to also note here with the high definition graphics edition is notice that extension port here right here you see this guy here is different that is like i said that's on the apparent superior audio now this doesn't actually lead to anything I have no idea what that extension port is for, but it's there. And that again, in addition to literally saying high definition graphics on it and one doesn't, that's another way to identify this model is by having that extension port on the back there. All right, so forgive the handheld mode here, but there is the unit itself. This is again, that high definition graphics one here. I put in Sonic 2 and it's just sitting loosely beside a Sega CD. It's not actually hooked up just yet. But here is my JVC and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Fantastic. Fantastic. Ah, oh, you can see me wearing my Sonic shirt here too. Look at that. Just awesome. And you stuck around with me this far, so I'm gonna give you the pleasure of seeing it with the Sega CD. Unfortunately, I don't have it hooked up with the mixing cable and all the audio, it's just RF right now, but that sounds terrible, but this doesn't. Oh, you know you love this song. So like I tried to show you there, there's my Sonic, you're too slow shirt, just in celebration of this episode. But like I said, thanks again for checking out this video. Sega Genesis, awesome system. Uh, of course the mini came out. Uh, there's the at games ones that people weren't too keen about, but the classic came out and was certainly held in pretty good regards with its 
friend the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo classics. Sega Genesis system, I remember playing this as a kid, of course playing the Echo the Dolphin, Sonics, Aladdin, all sorts of classics on there. I was really excited to get this one and especially just get such a beautiful packaging for it. Thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment. It always helps my channel grow when you do. Until I see you guys again soon, I hope you guys take care and be good to each other. Bye now.